a parade of lights accompanied by a tree lighting. That's what's happening this weekend in Shoto. Despite the cold temperatures, sorry, my lips are frozen, I'm so cold. Spirits were high assembling the city of Shoto's first Christmas tree. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. As far as we know, the city of Shoto's never truly had a designated Christmas tree. In previous years, fir trees surrounding the courthouse were decorated during the holidays. But due to age, wind, and disease, the trees have since been cut down. Back in the early 2000s, the county used to decorate all of those and we would light them up the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But in 2005, that was the last time they did that because of the, the trees falling over. Since then, we haven't had a Christmas tree. That is until now. Okay. It's a whole lot of fluffing. Tira Henry and her family moved to her husband's hometown of Shoto after visiting every summer. With a strong love for the holidays and the Christmas stroll's need of assistance, Henry jumped right in. For this, I had an idea about doing a tree lighting and adding some things to our Christmas stroll to make it a little more festive. A donated 16-foot tree with hundreds of lights will be anchored down by not just any old stand. I said originally it was going to be a stand, and then we're like, oh, let's make it a present. Oh, let's make it three presents. Oh, let's paint the presents. Let's get some bows for the presents. So. Henry wanted to make sure the city of Shoto had a tree every year moving forward, which is why they opted for a fake tree versus a real tree. I love Christmas and I love Shoto and this was just my way of giving back to the community that has given so much to me and just spreading some happiness this Christmas season. The tree lighting will be this Saturday in downtown Shoto after the Parade of Lights. It's beautiful! In Shoto, Maggie Riley, MTN News.